Automated Twitter Marketing. Follow the step-by-step -step directions below to set up your own automated Twitter marketing campaign. Step number one, using your keywords, find content using a tool like BuzzSumo. I recommend using BuzzSumo because this online tool intentionally looks for content on social media based on certain keywords and niches. It then ranks this material based on their social engagement levels. When you get access to this type of content using your niche keywords, you can rest assured that the content you see is viral or has enough traction on social media. You don't have to use BuzzSumo. There are other similar tools out there. Regardless, you need to use that kind of tool. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard for you to do this manually. You're going to have to go through a lot of content and manually check the social signals. It's very tedious. It burns a lot of time. In many cases, you are still not sure if you got the right content. Step number two, find your competitors on Twitter and find their keywords. Now that you have a massive list of niche and product related keywords, use these on Twitter to find all your competitors. Get as many of them as possible. Next, look at the hashtags that they normally use with their posts and copy and paste them into a file. Get as many of them as possible. Step number three, load Hootsuite with BuzzSumo retrieved high engagement content. Now that you have a massive list of highly viral content in your niche, you load them up into Hootsuite or some other auto publication and scheduling tool and auto publish with your target hashtags. Make sure you use one or two hashtags with each tweet. This way, you get a chance at drawing traffic in more ways than one. In addition to the third party content that you are scheduling for publication using Hootsuite, you should also rotate in your layer one, layer two, and layer three content. Use a link shortener service like bit.ly. For each of these tweets, rotate among your target hashtags. Step number four, follow your competitors' most active real followers. While Hootsuite and Social Oomph or some other auto-publishing tool you are using runs in the background, you should manually look at your competitors and look at who is following them. Go to those accounts and pay attention to the activities of those followers. If it's obvious to you that these followers are active and truly interested in your niche, follow them. The strategy here is pretty simple. On Twitter, a certain percentage of people will automatically follow you back when you follow them. Not everybody does this, but around 20 to 30% of people will do this. The key here is to create a following of not only active real followers, but people who are truly interested in your niche. If you do this right, you build a tremendous amount of credibility with the high quality curated content that you're sharing, and this can draw eyeballs to your layer one, layer two, layer three content, and this can lead to traffic to those pages. How to select a niche product to promote the smart way. A lot of ClickBank marketers fail because they don't know how to pick the right niche. They end up putting in a lot of time, effort, and energy only to lose interest, market to non-existing demand, and otherwise commit a range of rookie mistakes. If you don't want that to happen to you, follow the steps below to the letter. Step one, list out your personal interests. Right off the top of your head, write down your personal interests. These should be topics that you love talking about and are so interested in that you would talk about them even if you're not getting paid. Come up with a long list. As long as you're truly interested in these topics, write them down. Step number two, filter by demand, search volume. Go to Google AdWords and create an account if you don't already have one. Once you're logged in, click Tools and use Google's Keyword Planner tool. Enter in keywords that are related to the personal interests that you have listed in step one. You should be able to find lots of related keywords to these interests and download these because they will have search volumes next to the keywords. At this point, you're going to delete from your list niches or personal interests that have too little search volume or are too much. You want something in the middle. Step number three, filter by competition. Now that you have a shorter list of niches to filter, the next step is to enter their keywords into Google's main search box. When you enter a search phrase into Google, you will get results, but at the top left corner, Google will inform you how many pages target that search phrase. Take note of this number and write them down next to each niche keyword. Once you have entered all your relevant niche keywords into Google, eliminate from your list niches that are too competitive. These are niches that have too many pages targeting them. I'll leave this up to you. It all boils down to your comfort level. Some people are comfortable with a tremendous amount of competition. Other people would like something more manageable. I'll leave this up to you so you call the threshold level. Maybe you can deal with 1 million pages. Perhaps you are more ready at ease with 300,000 or less pages. Whatever the case may be, apply it uniformly across all the niches you have left on your list. Step number four, enter your keywords into ClickBank Marketplace and pick by relevance. Now that you have a fairly short list of niches, pick the top three niches that you're most interested in. 
Enter their keywords in the ClickBank's marketplace and select products based on relevance. Usually, you should be able to find a product, but sometimes your niche may not show up. There might not be a product that's directly related to your niche. There might be something that's closely or somewhat related. Whatever the case may be, pick out as many products from the ClickBank marketplace that are related to your niche. Step number five, promote all products at first. In the beginning, you should promote all the products you are able to retrieve using the niche selection process above. Your strategy is pretty straightforward at this point. Promote all the products at your site first and pick the top three winners. These are the products that convert the most. Focused on conversions. Don't focus on how much traffic they get. Traffic is worthless unless it converts. Always remember that. Pick the top three winners in terms of conversions and stick to those. Note, gravity is not really all that helpful because of different circumstances. I've already mentioned earlier on in this training why you shouldn't just select products based on gravity. Instead, get as many products that are directly related to your niche as possible and promote all those products. You're going to then filter them based on how successful they are. Automated Facebook Marketing Follow the steps below to set up an automated marketing system using the Facebook platform. Step number one, using your keywords, find high engagement content using BuzzSumo or some other tools. Watch video nine again and follow the instructions all the way up to step three. Skip the hashtag part. All steps are exactly the same. Step number two, use your keywords to find Facebook pages and groups in your niche. Once you've loaded your Facebook page with curated content, the next step is for you to find Facebook pages and groups that are interested in your niche. Step number three, Engage with other niche-related Facebook pages and groups. Go to those Facebook pages and groups and like stuff, comment, and share your reactions. You're not dropping any links at this point. You just want to be seen as an active member of the community. After about a couple of weeks actively engaging with people and getting them to like your comments, you should then start to drop links to your Facebook page posts. These posts feature third-party content that has been curated. Step number four, drop your site's links from time to time and keep the engagement posts going. It's important to make sure that you do not abandon the Facebook pages and groups that you are tracking. These are all directly related to your niche. You have to keep up your engagement with them and still be an active part of the community. But from time to time, share links from your page. The strategy here is to get people to notice this content. If they like the content, they can click through to your page. If they notice that they like the content on your page, they can then like your page. Your end goal is to grow the amount of likes your page gets. Considering the fact that Facebook is actively reducing the influence of pages, you have your work cut out for you. However, if you do this right, you can build a solid and loyal following of niche fans using this technique. How to get your niche target keywords. At this point, you should already have selected products that you are going to be promoting on your site. Your next step is to find websites that promote these products. Look at their meta descriptions. Look at their headings and subheadings and reverse engineer their keyword targets. These pages target certain keywords. So, get all those keywords. Next, use Google's Keyword Planner tool again to find even more keywords related to these products. At the end of this process, you should have a long list of pages full of keywords that are related to the products that you are promoting. What are you going to do with your keywords? You're going to use these keywords to find places on the internet to promote your three-layer content marketing system. You're also going to use these keywords to help guide you through the content creation process. You're going to incorporate some of these keywords into the content that you produce. Also, you're going to be using these keywords to find Quora questions that you're going to answer. You're also going to use these keywords to turn them into questions that you will publish on Twitter. How do three-layer conversion systems work for ClickBank marketing? Let's get one thing clear. People looking to buy the ClickBank products you are promoting don't care about you, okay? Let's get that idea out of your head. They don't care about your brand. They don't care about your intentions or motivations. All they care about are their problems. They have problems that they are trying to solve. These are problems that the products you promote must solve. Always keep that in mind. Don't think that just because you're promoting content and you are spreading awareness regarding certain niche products to certain audiences that they are somehow obligated to you. They're not. Get that idea out of your head. Instead, these people are always asking, what's in it for me? If you operate from this level, then you would give them solutions that solve their problems. Most importantly, you would position whatever ClickBank product you are selling in these terms. This enables you to connect with them more efficiently and sell more products. That's how the game works. You have to understand that they are not trying to do you any favors. They're definitely not looking to hand you cash. That's not their top priority. Their top priority is to solve their problems. Give them that solution. 
And this is exactly how the three-layer content conversion system works. Layer number one, produce content that discusses your target audience's problem. The product that you are selling solves a problem that your target audience members have. Create content that discusses their problem. When people see such content, they not only see that you are talking about their problems, but you are also offering solutions. When they see this, you establish authority and credibility. You are talking their language. You are speaking to issues that are important to them. Just as importantly, you are offering them many different options. And by doing so, you establish your expertise. You're not just some random person telling them to buy one product and one product alone. At this level, you're communicating to your target audience members that you understand their problem and that you have a clear, big-picture view of what they're dealing with. So you explain many different issues regarding their problem. You lay it out. And the more information they get from your content, the more credible and authoritative you become in their eyes. Layer number two, produce content that lays out their options. Now that you have established to your prospects that you understand their problems and you've laid out the wide range of causes, possibilities, and complications regarding their problems, the next step is to zero in on options. These are possible solutions they can select, but you mention this in categorical terms. For example, if somebody is trying to get a job, you can first spell out that the reason that they're struggling to get a job is because their resume does not clearly communicate their skills. You can also lay out other possibilities, such as they may be applying to the wrong jobs. There might be a mismatch between the availability of jobs in their city and their qualifications. In the second layer of content that you produce, you're going to lay out their options in categorical terms. You basically say, if you are struggling with resume issues, these are your options. If you're struggling with a skills mismatch, here are your options. If you're looking for a job in the wrong place, here are your options. Put yourself in the shoes of the person reading this. If you are trying to get a job, they would love your content. You have demonstrated to them that you have a good understanding of their problem and you demonstrate that this problem is not unsolvable. You have shown by laying out different options that this problem is not impossible. At this stage, your prospect is beginning to trust you more and more. In this level, you are obviously going to start working on getting them to like the option that you are promoting. Now, please understand that at this level, you're not promoting a direct link to ClickBank. If you do that, it's going to blow up in your face. This is going to look like spam. People are going to feel that you manipulated them. Instead, you are going to play up a category of options that contain the product that you will ultimately promote to your prospect. Going back to our job seeker scenario, of all the different solutions available to them, you can highlight resume services. You can spell out the advantages and disadvantages as well as show case studies why this is the easier and more realistic option compared to others. Of course, you're not going to completely drop the ball when it comes to other options, but you're not going to work as hard to make them look appealing. Do you see how this works? At this level, you are practicing your salesmanship, but you're going to have to do it in a subtle way. You cannot be obvious. While you're not blatantly promoting a specific product, you are directing the mind and the attention of your prospect to a specific set of options. Layer number three, produce content that sells the specific product you are pushing through comparisons. This is the most important part of the three-layer content conversion system. Drop the ball here and you're not going to make a sale. Seriously. It doesn't matter how awesome layers one and two are. If you screw this part up, you're not going to make money. Why? This is where the rubber meets the road. Seriously. This is where you drop your ClickBank product affiliate link. At this stage, you are directly selling a ClickBank product. Now, what makes this very effective is that you're not blatant about it. In layer two, you got the prospect to sign on to a particular type of solution. They're not going to click through to layer three if they do not agree with you that a certain category of options is the best for them. They would stay on layer two and move on. Do you understand me? The fact that they click through means you have convinced them at some level or another that this category of options makes the best sense in their situation. So they click through, and then what do they see? You cannot just drop them on a review of one product. If you do that, you are dropping the ball. You really are. It becomes abundantly obvious that you went through all this time and bother trying to convince them to buy one product and one product alone. The better approach is to sell through comparisons. You have to understand that people make decisions based on comparisons. They don't just look at one product and think to themselves, that product is right for me. People don't think that way. Instead, they look at different options, and then they make their decision. 
because when they look at an option, they ask themselves, this option is better compared to what? That's how they determine value. If you put a $1,000 computer in front of somebody's face and you tell them that this is a great value, they probably would not be able to make a decision. Now, if you put five computers in front of them at different price points with different features, they would feel that they're in a position to make a better decision. They are able to compare the different features. They're not just focused on the price. They're not just focused on one specific feature. They feel that they can see the overall picture regarding the total range of value each product brings to the table. That's how the human mind works. Decisions are comparative by nature. We're always asking ourselves, compared to what? So give them that comparison. This is how you sell. So when people click through to layer three, there should be at least three products there from ClickBank. You break them down based on features, and then you make notations regarding how likely this specific option is going to help them solve their problem. Then you do the same for the other products. At that point, your recommended product may stand apart from the rest. Honestly, it doesn't matter because all of the products that you put in front of them are affiliate products. If they pick your suggestion, great. If they don't pick your suggestion and go with another product that you featured, you still make money. Do you see how this works? Sell through comparison. Don't just feature one product because when you do that, you only have one bite at the apple. You also run the risk of looking like you have an agenda. Now, let's get real here. You always have an agenda. You're not putting up this website because you have nothing else better to do. However, you have to do this in a way that overcomes their suspicion and skepticism. Appear to give more value by showing a product comparison page. Why use this three-layer approach? Make no mistake, if you are just going to promote a naked ClickBank product affiliate link by buying traffic, it's going to be expensive. If you're going to promote using free traffic methods, it's going to take too much time. The reason for both outcomes is the same. You haven't qualified the traffic. Take the case of Facebook ads. I've seen people promote ClickBank products directly on Facebook ads. You can tell from the low engagement and other indicators that they're not doing well. This should come as no surprise. You haven't fully qualified your traffic. That's why I suggest that you do not use direct link promotions, especially with paid traffic. If you use organic traffic, which is free, you end up wasting time. Sure, you're not blowing cash, but you're actually wasting something far more precious, your time. Use the three-layer approach instead. Another reason why the three-layer approach works is because it fits with how people make decisions. Let me ask you, when was the last time you bought something from a complete and total stranger? I would venture to guess that it has been a long time, if at all. You're not unique in this. Most people do not buy from total strangers. We buy from people we trust. How is trust created? Well, first of all, we must like the options the salesperson presents us with. For us to like these options, we must feel that we know enough about what's out there. This is precisely how the three-layer content marketing approach I've described works. You start with content that gives the reader knowledge. Now, they're not looking to become experts in the product category you are promoting. Instead, they just want to know if you understand where they're coming from. They just want to know if you are credible and authoritative enough to have a grasp of the problem they are struggling with. This content establishes your authority. If they click through to layer two, you are then in a position to get them to like one category of options compared to the many other categories out there. By the time they click on to layer three and they see the comparison, you pretty much have established a decent level of trust. Do you see how this works? Finally, the three-layer approach gives you a more versatile promotion strategy. There are many different places on the Internet that you can get free traffic from. Since you have essentially three different kinds of content, you can mix and match traffic platforms with the content you have so you can drive more traffic from those platforms. For example, if you're going to be promoting primarily on forums and message boards, it's probably a good idea to promote using Level 1 content. You look for existing discussions regarding the issues that you deal with your Level 1 content. You then answer whatever questions people posted, and then you quote certain blocks of text from your content page, and then you link to your page as a source. Similarly, people might be talking about the category of solutions you talk about with your Level 2 or Layer 2 content. If you find such discussions on message boards, Facebook groups, or Facebook pages, you can copy and paste bits and pieces from your content, comment on it, and then drop a link. Finally, if you have a Twitter account and you are targeting certain hashtags, you can rotate in your Level 3 content because you can assume that a significant number of people following you already know what options are out there and they're looking for a specific comparison of products regarding the category of solutions they are already sold on. Do you see how this works? Using a three-layer content marketing approach enables you to work with existing demand and traffic. 
You're not reinventing your content each and every time you come across a potential traffic.